Okay, everyone, welcome back. Um, so today we are going to tackle this um, cover and I've decided that I do like the way this looks. So before I had this piece, if you guys will remember, and it was going to be tucked in like so and I was gonna actually create something else with that. But as you know, crafting goes, we change our mind. And so anyway, I like the way that this looks. Um, I do need to create another little for that side there. But anyway, so I wanted to, I'm going to create like a, a fold out for the back. But what I am going to do is have this somehow connect. I mean, tie in to that or overlap that. <laughs> this is my closure piece, okay? This is going to be my closure piece. And all it is... I took a piece of file folder, cut it in half, not cut it in half, or cut it down the length, and I used this punch that um, I used before, and this is two and a half inches wide, and I inserted it in there to both ends, and so that's how I got this piece here, okay? So this is going to be like my belly band, a half um, semi belly band. So it's going to come over and connect and it's gonna hook in somehow like this. Hopefully if everything works out like I want it to work out. I'm still trying to work everything out in my head, but that's what I want to do. So I figured I'd better turn the camera on and take you guys with me. Okay, so I have this piece. Now, this is um, a little, it's gonna be a, a, some type of um, fold out, okay? Flip out, fold out, it's gonna be some type of fold out. So what I'm thinking is, I'm not sure if I'm going to hold, I, I'm thinking that I may want the whole thing to be removed off of the page or even if I do connect, which I don't want to because even if I did that, I would want to be able to slip this piece loose and have this piece able to come apart from the journal, I mean from this base piece here. So I am thinking that I'm going to keep the whole thing just um, like it is. So. Having said that, let me set this part to the side, and I have to work on this part, okay? So, um, this is, and then I'll probably put something else, or maybe cover it up with something to put a picture, or maybe not, it's fine, <laughs> just like it is. So, this is what I'm working with right here. Now, I'm debating on if I want to add more flips to this or not. So, you guys, I'm just going to take you along with me as I figure this thing out. I probably will speed some things up, take some things apart. I mean, take, remove some things because I'm not, I can't just sit here and, and come up with something like that out of the top of my head. <laughs> anyway, look at all, I love, um, I love this. Yes, I love that. So, let's figure out what we're going to do here. So, oh, that's what I was going to tell you. So, as you can see, you see the universal on the, the um, on the file folder. <laughs> okay, so this is what you would have. This would be a normal file folder, okay? And I do have to do that. Some people are saying why. So, all I did was this. I had to use um, two separate file folders, okay? So, all... This part here is, is right here. That's all it is, okay? It would be the part that would be right there. See? So I cut it down the side there, and then I just cut this part even with that part, or pretty much. Okay, so that's all that it is. And then that one, I just cut it to match so I had this down and then I just laid I just laid the file folder file folder behind it and then measured it out and then I'm going to have it close like so. So that's how that one's going to close. And then it'll close like that. Okay? So after I have that, now I'm debating on um do I want to add more flip outs? Because flip outs are fun, but it does come to a point to where when is enough enough? And some of you will say never, never is enough. 
And I am playing around with this because there's so much that you can really do with these. So, now I've added, um, file folders are sturdy. That's why we like them. And when you, even more sturdy, um, when you add the coffee dyed paper to them. But it's also thick. So I'm going to add in, um, I'm trying to fill, this is either 60 or 110. Um, whatever it is, it's pretty, pretty darn thick. So if I want to do flips on the inside of here, I'm going to use um, probably this to save a little bit of space like I need. Okay, so before I get started, I'm going to go ahead and ink everything up. I'm not doing crazy inking. This is my new way of inking my edges. You guys, I just take it, my ink pad, and run it this way. I don't do it all the time. Sometimes I do actually get my dauber and go in. That's what I also need. These areas to show. Well, if I'm gonna take it apart, I'll need all of them to show. So let's go ahead and just do them all. Like so. Make sure we hit everything. I really like the coffee dyeing on that. I wish I had used another file folder. this to the side because this will be this is going to insert this way right so um, I have pulled out some papers that I want to play with so I know that I'm going to bring the accents in here so I'm just gonna and then I'm, what I'm doing is making sure that everything is going to match up so when you're uh, playing with something like this, it's good to have um, base pages or background pages. So I'm glad that I um, went ahead of the background pages, the Fairly Plain, because this is when you get in and play. I also did like creating um, like collages, pretty much, basically, and adding a little more. So I'll probably try and play around with those because that's just beautiful to me. I mean, they all are. <laughs> so... I think this one I'm probably going to want to do a little more something too. So my base is I'm going to go ahead and just set this one up. And I wish I had all these cut out, but I don't. So I'm going to take some time and do that right now, you guys. Sorry about that. I'll just fast forward through this part or delete it. So we will now little big boy out of the way and we will see what we are going to create okay how do I want to do this I think I want to say this so I want a base page so I want some kind of contrast but I don't want too much no we're gonna go I don't think I like that either. 
so I like this one. Why am I liking this? I don't know, but then when I look at it on camera, I, I don't like it anymore, but I'm liking that. So I was trying to come up with um, something different for my uh, pocket hinge piece here. And I got inspired by the closure piece that I'm using that I created by, um, that I created with the tag punch. And so I'm gonna use that as a visual to create um, this pocket hinge piece for me. It's something different. And as I was doing that, um, I thought it would be a good idea to uh, try and make a video of how we can use um, just inspiration from other places to create our own intricate tags, tag toppers, enclosure pieces, and such like that. I used to want to do that all the time, but never had the time. But anyway, I'm going to uh, show you here a comparison, and then we'll get back to the sped up video. So I really don't want that pocket to be too long. Um, the pocket hinge piece, I guess that's what I am going to call it. So um, I am going to cut that down a little bit after I uh, ink everything up. I see that. I'm just trying to see where I want to place it. And that's a little bit too long because I do want the tag that I'm going to put behind there to show through. And I think it just adds an extra little bit of interest um, to your page. Yeah. And I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to close all of it. And so while I'm just um, letting you guys craft with me, I want to mention now before I forget about it, because I had another issue <laughs> with um, YouTube and also my phone. I don't want to get into too much of it because it will be too much negativity and I do not dwell in negativity. But um, I am having some issues. And so I'm going to cut the videos up to where they're like um, less than 25 minutes and hopefully that'll be better but also I, I need to point out this is old news and I didn't want to speak about it if you ever see an ad on my channel I have not monetized my channel so um, most of us do know that YouTube is now saying that they have the right to monetize basically to put ads in your channel whether you are monetized or not. And so they can make money off of your um, your videos, basically, which is, I guess you, you do get the ability to use their platform, but um, I think it's still, you know, anyway, I don't want to get into too much of that. That would be one of those videos that I call Chit Chat Chatter. <laughs> Some of you guys have watched that. That's what that would fall under. And so um, anyway, I like, I think I did that, yes, I did this little piece here. I'm all over the place, you guys, as as usual. But um, I do like adding the little corsets to the little um, flower button pieces there that's going to be my little closure pieces. And so anyway, as I was saying that, I do not, um, my channel is not monetized. So if you ever see ads, that is YouTube doing that. Um, 
And that's why I was dwelling on that. Um, Sharon did do, um, in one of her videos, she mentioned that she was going to move over to Rumble. And I, I was very um, interested in that. However, when I looked it up, or my daughter was looking it up, she was telling me that it didn't have very good reviews. If you guys have any experience with that, uh, please let me know. I will be talking with Sharon about that because I think that um, other platforms is a great way to go. But, you know, you don't want to jump out of the fire and jump into a volcano. <laughs> At least, well, um, but anyway. Um, so, yeah, are you guys have any other ideas um, that we can use? We just have to make the best of what we have and what we can do right now um with everything and with everything we have to try and stay positive <laughs> i do not this is going to be a chit chat chatter so i am going to go back to either um well right now i'm going to show you so with this little thin magazine paper when i put it through the little trimmer it kept catching and uh, you guys that have had to deal with those kind of little papers you know what i'm talking about and so um i'm not that good of cutting straight with my scissors and so I folded the pages and then I had a visual guide I'm all about the visual guides I had a guide that I could then follow to create um, at least somewhat uh, better of a, um, a straight edge on my paper And that was really slow. I don't know why that was slow, but I'm going to leave it as it was. It's really strange. Because if I change it now, everything will be off and I'll be telling you something when I'm talking about something else and you will have no idea what I'm talking about. I do want to say this. I do have, um, you guys know how I do sometimes. I print out um, so much. I did it before I was even making digital kits. Um, you know, when you see some beautiful papers, you just want to print and just, you know. Wait a minute. Now, as I'm doing this, I'm realizing something is off about this. Something just doesn't feel right. So, I look at it. I'm looking at it right here, and I realized <laughs> I forgot to add the uh, this pocket. My little uh, circle corset piece was going to be attached to the pocket. So I slowed this down because I'm going to show you guys. I was determined to get this pocket on there because I wanted um, the contrast from the text to the um, the digital page right there and so I just had to have it I almost came close to just tearing it apart punching a hole in there but then it would be too big of a hole for me to uh, try and repair and so I remembered I've done this before and I'm going to show you guys how I fix that I really wanted to rip it, you guys. I wanted to rip it. And you can tell I'm just tickled because I was really debating on just destroying this piece. I know I didn't want to create it all over again, though. I try again. Let's just rip it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Nope, that sucker is tight and it is there. <laughs> so I pick up the trusty... Tim Holtz scissors, scissors, and I go to work. And I must say, you guys, oh, Timmy has come through again. Um, I really like these scissors. They not only cut, 
paper extremely well, but they cut our little metal pieces. And I use those to smush the metal in. I have to do a little more smushing, but um, I'm able to do that. And then that will release the grommet, freeing the hole without it ripping or tearing. The only thing I lost was the grommet. Well, I actually lost the washer too, but it'll come up <laughs> in the wash. It'll come up somewhere in all of my paper scraps. But anyway, yeah, so that is the second time I've had to do that. So I really, really, really am thankful in this case for Timmy Tim Tim. So my fix to cover that hole is this little strip of um, offshoot and it actually turned out really nice. It added a nice little um, element to the design of this pocket. All is well that ends well. I'm leaving a little space to create a, a side pocket there and just have to glue everything down. So now I just need to glue everything down, add a few little extra touches, little simple things that you can add just to take your page to the next little level in um, aesthetics. So I'll be back very shortly, you guys, with the next video that will conclude this series. Till then, have a good morning, evening, or night, wherever you are.